Hello, this is Music Man from His Man Cave, and we are going to talk about RVs, recreational vehicles. And you can spend seventy to a hundred thousand dollars for one of these rolling houses, monstrosities, and uh, it all is that allure of living in the outdoors and getting to travel around the world, baby, and getting to see bears and deer prancing through the forest. It all sounds great, doesn't it? Well, let's talk about it right now. So, Music Man in his man cave, RVs. You just see your little wife there cooking on your little miniature stove. You sitting on your little miniature toilet. You know, with a being able to wash with water down. And you have a battery power and you have gas power. You have this pusher. It gets pretty good gas mileage. Maybe seven, nine miles of the gallon. And so you're going to travel around the country, right? Wrong. Uh, this is more likely how it's going to happen. You're going to spend probably, I don't know, $35, $40, $50 a month, uh, a night, wherever you park that thing. Uh, and they won't just let you park it anywhere. You have to pay <laughs> wherever you're going to park it. And so also you can park it in the Walmart's parking lot for free. Now this is not exactly the, what you envisioned. You envision every time, every time you come into a town finding your nearest Walmart. Uh, but, uh, and so because you spent $70,000 for this big pusher. And, uh, and so anyway, you, uh, the gas prices right now hit $4 a gallon. Start doing the math on that. So you're getting seven to, to, uh, someone might get a whopping 10 miles to the gallon. Uh, but that's still a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, you're going to spend a lot of money on gas. And so, uh, you know, RVs for me, the, this is the way I see RVs, and you can take it for whatever you want it. Um, I, I think that a much better value would be just maybe a little fifth wheeler, but you'd have to buy a truck. And uh, I don't want to buy a truck. So it'd have to be parked somewhere. And you'd have to have a affordable place to park it. Um, and you'd have to keep it out of the weather. And you'd have to keep it protected. See, once again, does, do you own it or does it own you? But uh, uh, fifth wheelers are the better way to go because you probably could get a really nice one used for like probably $10,000. But still, $10,000, that's a good amount of money. And I'd rather probably put that into savings. And, and be moving toward those goals that we were talking about. Um, if you want to see saving and investing, I have like a, a whole list of things that you need to, to work on if you really want to meet your financial goals. So anyway, RVs, um, once again, um, it just happens that uh, you, uh, you, with cabins, RVs, things like that, a lot of times you have friends and relatives that already have them. And they, they love nothing more than, than you to uh, come and visit and for you to use them and so forth. You, they actually invite you, and they really do mean it. If they didn't mean it, you'd know pretty quickly. But the bottom line is uh, uh, that's about as good as camping as I want to do. My idea of camping is going out into the woods, uh, making a campfire, making some s'mores, get back in the car and come home to my nice comfortable bed. As you get older, that's, that's, when you were in your teens, you thought camping was getting in a nice tent and, and laying in there with that, on those rocks and things. You get to a certain age that that just ain't comfortable anymore. You can't take laying on the solid ground like that for hours and hours on end. You'll hardly be able to walk. Anyway, there's my thoughts on RVs. Take it for what it's worth. Um, I think that probably RVs are something that maybe you should rent. Uh, rent an RV for a few days and take one somewhere and see what you really think about it. See see how expensive it really is to, to own it. It's a lot cheaper than doing that. Or do what I would do. If I, before I'd buy an RV, I'd travel around the country in a Prius or something and staying in the nicest motels all the way around the country and I still wouldn't have paid a frac I wouldn't pay a fraction of the cost that it costs to own an RV. Music Man from his man cave, giving you some sound financial advice. Think about it. Take care. See ya. Bye.